we're wondering about th uh, why this isn't grayed out. It's because I actually tried out a little bit and saved but made a mistake. I'll explain the mistake later. Anyways, this is Osteoblast, a game where you have to play as a skeleton. Awaken. Are you dead? Or alive? Dead. Yes, you're a skeleton. But what do they call you in life? They do not explain the uh, the pros and cons of any of these, so that... How the hell are you supposed to make a decision on this? Like, what does a scavenger do? They apparently... They are greedy, but that's all they really tell us. Shaman can hear voices, but what does that mean? Can they he Do they have magic? Samurai should probably be a f and Savage should probably be physical attackers, but what's the difference between them? Like, how do you make an informed decision right from the start? According to the reviews, your starting class doesn't matter as much as the choices you make in the game, because then, you c then you'll then you have more options to ca customize your character. So, I have no idea anyways. Hmm. Scavenger, then? Maybe that will have item drop increases, or money increases? Yes, yeah, a greedy person. As the last bubble pops from the boiling witch cat's cauldron, her experiment turns into success. You now walk among the living ones again. Open your eyes. Yes, another success. Except that you turn out a little skinnier than usual. You bit my knee and I do not, but I do not feel the pain. And why am I awake? Why is this happening? Who are you? Do not question me, servant. I am a cat witch. Witch cat for short. That's not shorter. Hmm. And by what name should I call you? Since I'm a greedy person who died because of my greed, I guess Scrooge would be the best name. I highly dislike that name, as well as the rest of this organless existence. Oh, not a good time for personal cr uh, pr crisis. Pickles must have let a dog out from the pit. Their pit. Low density doggo. Rah, rah, rah. Prepare to meet the Fayen, sack of bones. Woof. Do something, servant. That monster is rabid. Low density doggo. Woof, woof. Eternal hatred. Go, my servant. Smack this buffoon back to the pits. But pay attention, or else this dirty ground you once slept in will become your eternal bed again. Spooky. Do not hesitate. You're my creation. You must be smart enough to get through this. The ac default accuracy on a lot of this really is really low, huh? 90 is actually a lot lower than it looks. So I say wait and, and then use spook. Sometimes you'll have to wait for your marrow to grow back or else you can't attack. That feels awful. Hush hush. You'll get used to it. Now I can use spook. Wait again. Spook. Work, work. We canines will not be spooked so easily, skeleton. You survive for now. Remains. Low density doggo. Woof. Woof. May our descendants bring judgment to all cat kind. Woof. Piff. Uneducated dogs like that one sure love to make a mess. Now where was I? Ah. You, you servant, go see if my dear Pickles has died or what. I need to craft a substitute for her if that's the case. Who's Pickles anyway? I feel stupid. Of course you do. Head to where the dog came from and put an end to them. I must make preparations for my beauty sleep now. <clears throat> and so begins Scrooge's epitaph. Taking another step in this earth you used to curse day and night, your journey is far from over. Very rich than dead. Pick up your bones and get ready for some spookin'. Okay, I'm, does that mean I, ha I used up quite a lot of marrow in that fight? Always go save. Don't talk to that cauldron, it's a one-time use thing, I like. Oh dear, do you require anything else? I'm afraid I most definitely need to take a nap right now. 
I left some juice in, on the cauldron as usual. Go ask Pickles if you want any candies. She usually spends all day long guarding the entrance to the burrows. Or maybe tell Violetta to give you something for your troubles. She'll surely understand. I literally only have one dollar. I am doomed. It's your own grave. You saved yourself a penny for the ferryman, but you didn't take it. One dollar. That's it. Burn the skull. Mas Mr. Crow, what is your wisdom? Not because y you can get somewhere you should. <laughs> you should. Um. Directions. North to the interconnection. South to the cemetery. East to the dog mines. East is where the first dungeon is, huh? Time's risen after depth 0 plus 1. So they keep track of how many times I die, but is, will they auto-save if I die or something? That would... I don't know. Seems like I need a key for that. Boo! D Dolph Blood and Fear. Oh, come on. I want advice, you jerk. View equipment. So, this... Is this a weapon? It is. It also increases my speed. And has different skills. It has chop and weight. Wait a minute. Does that mean I won't be able to use weight if I'm... If I equip this thing? That seems kind of... Seems kind of wrong. No, I still get weight. I guess. That's weird. Jab and sweep. W wait. I don't see jab and sweep in here. What's going on? And why is this usable outside of battle? That makes no sense. Unless I'm supposed to expect to bite stuff in on the ma world map. Hmm, so... Even the most basic healing item costs a ton. Priority 50? Does that mean it'll take longer to use uh, to use than a normal attack? I need 500 just to get to the uh, old abandoned shack. Hmm. The heck? I pity the fool skeleton for attempting to communicate. Wish Cat forced me to sell you dusty equipment the doggos were carrying in their filthy mouths. Despicable. I'll take anything, miss. Despicable. Nothing for you. Go away. Bandage. Okay, good. There are a few free items lying around. Moldy dust sits uh, still below the cliffs. It's a radi radiating a dense bone-chilling tingle every now and then. Cat house. Go south, but east is where the first dungeon is. I'm not sure if I can survive like this. I have no money. Wait, did my... When did my marrow grow back? Hey, you! Skelly! Call me Pickles. I shall be your guide today. Hello, Miss Lady. I was sent here by another cat. Where am I? You are far, far from Citadel City, but there's a way to get there. What are you talking about? You must assist us with something. And for that, you'll need to fight the doggos. I saw one right over there. The air cat lady told me it was your fault. That's where you come in, friend. We cats just were just minding our own business when feral monsters, the dogs, started attacking us day and night. Our strong harvests have caused their little brains to ripen envy. They started to come out of their lands and into our fields. They dug from the underground, emerging in reverse holes. Reverse holes. And they took all of our tomatoes. You should, ass should assist us. This is real sad, and I'm heartbroken, but... We still have candies left from Halloween. We have a deal. You just find yourself the nearest pit and hop down the insidious tunnels. And bring back our tomatoes so we'll get rid of our spare candies. I mean, reward you. And yes, take this manual. Read if you want to learn. Something written on the grave. Horrible tunnel ahead. Caution is extremely advised. Once inside, you can't get out. Wait, what? I'm trapped until I can win? That's... 
So that's why they have a, that revival feature. I, 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 yo, man, you look horrible. So how do you know your eyes are always like, closed? Shut up. Seems like there's a bit of roguelike going on here. Where does the south go? Graveyard Cemetery. Bone Moss? What is that? It's a consumable. Grave of Chains. Hold on, I might be able to equip that somehow. Spite and Survival Up. Rest. Rest on the, lay down on the floor to let your metabolism work for you. But I can only use it once per battle. So I can only heal once per battle? That That's pretty... Oh man, I wonder if I made the right choice. I can fish here, I, I guess. My uh, good friendly bones. While comfortable and instinctively very appealing to us and dead, I ask you to avoid the graveyard. Many of our friend bones are now out of their minds. So going into there will get me killed? What? I see a doggo. This is a safe zone. Okay. Found a candy. Colorful shroom. Is this a permanent increase? This seems to be a solo game, so I, I suppose I could put it on the, my one and only character. So let's see, info, speed is 7 right now. This... Speed is now 8. Knock on the door. Nobody's home. Another key that I might need. There's a shrine to the elk, god of earth and dust. Set checkpoint? What does that mean? No. Set checkpoint? Elk will remember your location. What happens if I try to worship this thing anyways? Elk teaches you skill plus one, survival plus one. You've already received the elk's blessing, so I can only receive each blessing once, huh? Each statue. So I, if I look for all the statues, I can probably make my character super strong. Are you an enemy? Woof. Yes, you are. Dusty, doggo. It's different from before. Scrooge counterattacks, but they dodge because I have no accuracy. That's why I like to. That's why I like to use Spook because it doesn't miss. Wait. Hmm. Rest. So how does that work? Will it screw me over? Oh, I actually hit this time. Cool. But I need more remains in order to offer up to this guy. False wall. Still, the fact that I can use this once for battle means I, as long as I'm at a certain def as long as I have enough uh, s good enough stats, I could theoretically fight against a, si a single weak enemy 
repeatedly just to farm remains. I only have two remains, unfortunately, but do enemies respawn in this game or are they just a one-time thing to keep you from just farming remains endlessly? Hey, it respawned. Cool. I'm gonna kill it. Die. Strange, the witch came back. Oh dear, require, do you require anything else? I'm afraid I must de most definitely need to take a nap right now. No, she's just reminding me of stuff I can do, I guess. Weird. Interconnection, what the heck is that? Mm, I can only get one dollar per fight with these dogs, which kind of sucks. Boo. Why do you... I, I already had your dialogue, you weirdo. The door's too small for you to fit in. Hmm. Even this bandage... One bandage would take ten of those dogs to obtain. Hmm. Onk sounds really good, though. I'm, I'm really afraid to go into the dog dungeon right away. I feel like I need to prepare somehow. Chapter 1, Osteogenesis. There's a symbol of a skeleton. So I need to complete the prologue in order to get in. And every uh, NPC respawned. Hmm. Weird. Okay, so I managed to level up off one of the doggos. Max bones plus one recovered eight bones. Which god do you dedicate this level to? That's kinda... Hmm... I'm, I'm not even sure how the turn system works in this game. I Sometimes I get multiple turns in a row, sometimes I don't. Spite... Soul skill... Strength survival... I feel like speed will be my savior in this game. Hmm. I can actually build my stats towards something, or should I go for strength and survival? Because I apparently have a base counter chance as well. Is there a way to increase my accuracy? Is that what speed and spike does? Soul and skill. Then again, soul and skill, I think, affect my undodgeable move, so let's go with that one. Stats. Bones, damage taken is delta bones. You die again if you lose all your bones. Marrow, you must sacrifice a marrow to attack. Use text or cast spells. Curse certain stats to be able to move and uh, use moves in battle, which are strength. Skill, damage, and resistance to attacks and counterattacks. Soul, damage of blast and resistance to all spells. Hmm. So this will help with counterattacking. Spike, damage, and resistance to curses. Damage and healing by critical hits, turn order. Survival, bone recovery from blessings and items. Every stat may also have hidden bonuses and unorthodox uses. Move description and battle will point out which stats are used for damage or healing. That god. Speed and s uh, spirit. Sound and noise. Offerings to the bat god will be rewarded with scores of noise magic. May exchange a candy with the bat god for additional speed or spirit instead of the original candy bonus. Does that mean I screwed up by using up that permanent stat boosting item too quickly? That's a lot of gods. Elk god. Grants soul and skill? A survival and skill. Word with tomes of dust magic. The elk has the ability to remember your location. Setting a valuable checkpoint if death comes again. Hmm. Rewards worshippers with bonus soul and skill. Teach any spell, including the rare null spells. 
Spider will offer handcrafted wares for sale at reasonable prices at her shrines. It's getting complicated. Whale. Grants strength and survival. Offering the whale gods to reward you runes engraved with rain spells. Will also teach you passive abilities for a heavy price. Bear. You'll get strength and speed. Offerings to the bear guy will be rewarded with random weapons, often enchanted with numerous effects. Bear also lets his followers hibernate under his name, waking up restored and well rested, much stronger in combat for a while. Hmm. Owl Goddess. Magic and smoke. Grant soul and spirit. Offerings to this owl goddess will see rewards of ancient scrolls describing smoke magic. The owl may also fly her followers to her nest at the center of the world, where any previously visited owl shrine can be quickly traveled to. Okay, so eight remains for a dust tome. Is it worth it? That's eight random enemies. Tome of Erosion. Increases soul and dust defense. But I cannot use the skills until I have the required stats, huh? Soul 22. Still burning nothing, of course. Just gonna have to grind a bit and build my stats appropriately. This time they want 11 for the next one. I feel like I should probably start heading into the next, into the actual first dungeon. If it's all just those dogs, I might have a chance. I'm not sure. Only nine dollars. Is that going to be enough? They really don't don't give us much resources at the beginning of the game. Dark and creepy here. You find yourself in the strange tunnels made by these ins insipidous dogs. They appeared recent and dug by both claw and shovel, with some worn out pickaxes lying around. Something's written on the grave. If you're feeling like death is near again, try taking a turn to rest. You'll recover some bones in the process, according to your su survival stat. A grave equipped into your charms little slot will provide you with the rest blessing. You can only rest once for battle. Yikes. I'm probably gonna die here. Bone Moss. Should die, doggo. That was painful already. And I can't even leave until I finish. I made a huge mistake. Do enemies respawn? I don't think they do. But yeah, the lack of my own uh, the fact that I only have rest for healing could be trouble, huh? Pebble? What's a pebble? Throw an enemy to do spike-based damage. There's something written. You must dedicate your newfound power to win the six gods of this land. As such, your attributes will increase accordingly to which features the god favor the most. Each, even levels are dedicated to the unearthed gods of the world above. Odd levels are dedicated to the unseen gods of the shaded places. That explains why I only had free choices. Nerd dog. Nice save. I should use a separate slot for this. In case I get unlucky in battle. Skeleton Lantern, the bones bright burn brightly. If I don't have to fight you, I probably shouldn't, huh? Yeah. That one over there, I definitely have to fight, though. What? A Law Enforcer? This one looks strong. 
Rest. Damn. Seven experience remains. Sling. Broken bone is weaker. Sling will give me some extra stats. Moves death wish. Hurl skill 15. Raises strength and spike also takes increased damage. Yeah, that sounds way too dangerous. I should have grinded more. I'm an idiot. Do I lose... I, I'll probably lose all my money once I die, but what about my equipment? Do I have to get those back again? Something written on this grave. Enemies will try to counterattack if you hit... Get, if you if you hit by physical blows. So... Counterattack damage and resistance depends on your skill stack. Skill also boosts damage done by certain techniques. The Spider Goddess and the Elk God will reward her followers with bonus skill. One dollar. That's totally gonna save me. I've already kind of screwed myself over by not grinding more. <laughs> Bosses, skeletons are walking again. Then bury them harder. Your time will come soon, miserable skeleton. Cop dog. Ha, huh, I dodged. Rest. I'm not healing my shit with my rest skill. Holy shit. I'm gonna die. Level 3 obtained. Covered 8 bones for that. Wish God. Terrible. I can't even escape or anything, can I? Doghouse. Covered nine bones. Oh man, that was just a one time thing. Something written. Damage from regular attacks is determined by strength. Strength also helps withstand physical damage done by enemy attacks on you. Beware, enemy counterattacks will use str your strength against you. The whale gods and the bear will reward their followers with bonus strength. Vitamin gum? What? It's a candy. But I can- apparently I can offer candies to God, so I should probably save these. Dang it. Can I farm them either? I have no clue. A an umbrella? Oh no, this is really bad. I can't win a two-on-one. No! A train move. I'm gonna have to use items if I want to survive this. Wait. Throw a rock at you, but I want to save these rocks. You don't. Rocks are surprising. Probably might be hard to come by, huh? Raising strength would be. And spirit could be disadvantageous for me right now. Hmm. Yeah, take increased damage. That is just. I don't like that. I will rest. 
No. Spook. Oh, no, they can heal. This is going to be a problem. If they can heal continuously, what am I to do? Or I can get lucky of a critical hit. That too. Yeah. Dice. Okay, but there's still a part I cannot get to easily. Sand Tower. But I'll lose rest if I do this, so... What's Sand Tower do anyways? Removes curses. It also heals, but I can use it only twice. Okay, I've gone to the, back to the overworld now. Grilled bone. Fragile pickaxe. Oh, I can... Create a shortcut so I don't have to redo that part of the dungeon. Nice. Hey, can I make another offering? Oh no, I only have seven. That's not enough. What happens if I try to head back down? Enemies respond. Hey, there's some money. Dangerous to fight them again, I feel like. The magic circle dis wait, why did that one respawn too? Weird. I can farm a little bit of money this way. I think broken rocks stay broken, right? Step away from the Uto Utopia, Legwalker. Where, dog? Oh, no. Dodged. Nice. Shadow step forward. Scythe. Our lady will avenge each and every one of us. You and your cat overlords will pay with blood. Hey, dude, I have none to offer. It's a scythe. Hmm, it's a soul-based weapon. You this time assimilate. Okay. Spook. Nice crit. Heal. Should wait out the ward because biting would be really painful for me right now. Spook. Tower. Hmm. Should I take the risk of Death Wish?
Spook. Wow, it actually nearly killed me. But it also killed him. Nice. Level 4. Homemade bonbon. Level up. I need to escape. Holy crap. Hmm. Who did I pick last time? <sighs> okay, I actually figured something out about the juice cauldron here. If you re-enter the map, the juice will respawn, so you can keep drinking it to heal up between fights. Trying to the elk. Offer. Yes. And equip a second dust home. Home of salt. Increases spite and dust defense. Hmm. I can't actually use either of these. They're just better to increase my stats slightly. Okay, an Ankh. Allows me to revive at checkpoints and save up some gold. Let's see. The charm? No. It's just a- I guess it's an item that stays in my inventory then. Automatically used up. I see. So if I die, this gets consumed. Okay, let's see if we can offer anything else up to you. Offer 18. Yes. Tome of Sand. Quick Sand. Same stats all around. But Quick Sand has lower requirements, so maybe I'll just stick with this for now. Okay, I'm at level 6. Hopefully this will be enough for whoever is waiting for me down here. Wait, I can head back. Reverse burrow. There's something written in this grave. There are two schools of spells, blasts and curses. Damage from blasts is determined by soul. Damage from curses is determined by spite. Soul also helps resisting all spell damage. Spite also lowers damage over time. The spire gods and the owl gods will reward their followers with bonus soul. Yeah, I've been concentrating on soul a lot, of, I guess. I feel like magic can't, Since magic... Requires the enemy to be in a reflex stance. I feel like that I could use that to, I feel like it's easier to use than physical attacks since enemies can always counter. The back gun the L guys will reward their followers with bonus spite. What the heck is that? Do I even have a I have one pickaxe, but I'm not sure I want to use it. I need 17 for the next book. Something is going on up there. I have no clue. Who are you and what's with that pose? Are you T-posing or some shit? I don't know. You're dabbing? Boss is gonna be happy that you found me here. That also means I'll get to play around town th this weekend after all. Yes, yes, you're also invited. All skeletons welcome. Tell your friends too. So, we cool then. Grilled bone times two. But there is a... Corpse there. I hope I don't regret spending that on him. Hopefully he will uh, pay me back for my uh, mercy, huh? Yes, now to kill this doggo. Because there is some, seems to be something behind it. More money. What the heck is that? Ascend into madness, so it goes up now. Perhaps this will take me to their headquarters. Inner tunnel small, uh, small, far more ancient, likely predating the upper areas by many years. You see cobblestone pathways and walls with several finer tools made of bronze and iron. 
literally dissonant with the rudimentary work of the dogs above. Oh no, I can't escape. Bone moss. Your speed is added to your move's priority values to determine who goes first. Brinkle hits also account your speed stat as a damaging factor. Bat gun or bear gun will give you speed. Okay. I better use a separate slot because there's no telling what's going to happen now. There are so many dogs here. Oh man. Damn it, slingers are really strong. Not go well. Should have farmed more bone moss. Hey, is that a healing point? I should save keep that in mind as I'm exploring. They snuck up behind me, that bastard. All bone recovery is done by your survival stack. Some items and skills may be more effective with additional stats involved, but high survival will always be guaranteed consistently stronger heals. Leveling up will restore bone equal to your survival. The whale goddess and the elk god will reward that. Okay. No! It's this guy, he's strong. Telling us an answer- Oh, come on! Damn. A new weapon, Fox. Fox of Ire. It's not even worth it. Every item I use up is one less I can use for the boss. I need a key. Locked. Bone meal. Okay, full meal. Got it. Grabbing stuff. Okay, that chest looks very suspicious. Tomato? Uh, there seems to be something blocking my way. So legends were true. The cats have been dealing with what they shouldn't. You poor abomination. Your master shall be slain once we finish the excavations. And so free of your curse you will be. Pardon, m Miss L Dog Lady, but I'm not in the mood for being killed again. No, not today. Today, your canine fellows tried to bite my legs off indiscriminately, and I still don't know what's going on. I will th then succeed where my children have failed. All your bones will belong to us again. 
I, Lake Caligula, will burn, er, bury every single skeleton back to the earth. I have no skills, no nothing. Yeah, I'm flying something. Harry. That did nothing. Great. Wait. No! Are you kidding me? And they can heal her. Great. I gotta waste marrow on that dog. Ugh. Wait, because I am not using physical attacks in this game. What's Echo? Uh, spook. Another spook. Wait. Monsoon? Dodged. Nice. Hiya! She dodged too. Very well. Spook that you cannot dodge. And you died. Caligula has been slain. Rune of Corrosion, Pike of Essence remains. Level 7. Lake Caligula, ugh, how dare you! We bur bur buried all the bones from the war, only for them to turn against us dogs. You know nothing, skeleton. That which you, that which you serve will be your own undoing. Level up. Max bones plus 1, recovered 11 bones. Man. have a whole lot of I wish I could take a look at my current stats before making a choice, you know? I feel like that would be uh, the the best... Uh, that would be a good UI thing to do. That way it'd be easier to make an informed decision. <sighs> okay. Let's put in... S hmm. Skill and survival, maybe speed and strength. I'm, I'm outsped by the enemies a lot here. What? Read by a horrible sunlight, you escape the domain of dogs. Uncertain if they will still hunt you for taking down their queen. The soft breeze quickly turns your thoughts away. Where the heck is this? Are we going to be, Are we unable to return to the regular area? The wind sign points to the cave entrance. Escape tunnel in case anything goes wrong. Well, something did go wrong. For you. Not open for business. Large wind sign. Haunted house ahead. No, no responsibility is held for souls lost beyond this point. I think this is the graveyard area, isn't it? Probably go give some more stuff to the elk. I have 20. So what's so good about this new tome? Tome of Gust. Literally the same thing. But the... But the requirements are lower, so I'm gonna give, put that on for now. Maybe I'll actually be able to equip it someday. Just need five more soul. My good friendly bones. Well, comfortable and instinctively very appealing to us undead. Okay, he already said that. I don't see the other skeleton that I helped back then.
Hey, the cat who was uh, at this watchtower disappeared. Pickles isn't here anymore. Maybe the dogs killed Pickles as revenge? So it seems like you were actually good for something, servant. This is for you. Dead flowers. What? That's not edible. I was promised candy. Ah, uh, yes. Just ask Violetta. She'll take. Uh, she takes care of our resources around here. Anyway, I have one last job for you before you get to be completely free from my control. I need you to take these flowers to one of the graves below in the cemetery graveyard. That's it? No more animal cruelty? Yes. Place these flowers I gave you in the central grave and you don't even need to come back to me. Take the skeleton key to open the cemetery. That will be your last job, as it is for all skeletons. Hey, good luck. Wait, this isn't... Ooh. Seriously, what is with this doll? Wait. Oh, shoot, I didn't mean to do that. Do I still have the key? Yes, I do. It still exists, but... What's with these numbers, anyway? Do they even mean anything? They don't seem to go down, no matter how- It's because I used the manual multiple times and it never goes down from 10. Is that its place in the inventory? So this can open any of the- uh, 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 Anything that requires a skeleton key. Nothing for you, go away. This is what was- is, is, was, This is what was left of our stock. We won't need that anymore. This is pretty rattling. Thank you, miss. Witch cat told me to throw these off, so I thought you'd be the perfect trash can. Goodbye, bonehead. Wait, that means I won't be able to buy stuff from you anymore. What? Mirror may not contain any blast or curse. Din wave. So, can I just re-enter the map and force you all to reappear? No, I cannot. Seriously? That means my only way of getting items is to beat up the dogs and hope they drop their... Uh, 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 drop their... Bone moss. Which I use a lot of, just to survive. Hmm. Interconnection, what's that about? Locked by an elephant- by the elephantine force. Is there really no more town? At least I can still use this, right? Yeah, we'll respond, but nothing else will. The cats ran away for some reason. Oh no, there's a cat here. For each meal you bring us back intact, I'll give you something from the magic box. I can't guarantee you'll like it because my eyes are often closed. So I get random items from you, huh? I said I would guide you, but yes, I lied. I have no idea what you sh how you should proceed, actually. Go around the cemetery now, you'll probably find a helpful skeleton or two. The witch cat gave you a key to it, didn't she? Pretty useless. Sorry, not sorry. Promise I won't do better. Brought something for you. Precious tomato. Here, have a candy. Fancy pops. It'll be ran- So, uh... I actually do need more spite. So let's take this. I got lucky there. That was one of the stats I was weaker in. You just got around that you managed to push the dogs uh, away the dogs for now. I trust you'll succeed. Thanks, man. It means a lot. Some of our boys at the cemetery have been locked down by the dogs a while ago. You should try fixing them up. Could always. I can actually return to this area if I want. Can't get the tomato to respawn, of course. Okay, I have enough for the next book. 
better not start giving me repeats. Oh crap, they are giving me repeats, aren't they? Damn it. I guess I got... I need to save and load each time I talk to this... Uh, to this thing, huh? Okay, let's try going into this cemetery. Maybe there'll be a shopkeeper. Bone meal. Nothing was written. Excuse me. Se welcome to the cemetery. A savage? Wait a minute. That's the other class that I could have picked, huh? Welcome to death. Wait, wh why are you fighting me? You jerk. Ah! Dodged. Haha. <laughs> One more spook. Base Lord of Ire. We all have been tasked the same, to deliver flowers to the dead man as our last job. That's how she disposes of us bones. That's how we got mad. Leave before you go mad too. The ancient man watches over the graveyard, the cemetery. He knows. He knows the way out because I don't. The heck? Dagger used by Dogs of Duty mass produces the mines. There's something guarding a chest. Bone meal. If the G fell down from the sign. Th this would become a gr graveyard. Ambushed. Wait, what? You can't do that to me. It's, uh, the first they make friendly dialogue, then they attack me out of nowhere. Wait, he's charging up his own su move. Ward, I got this from an umbrella that I found from one of the dogs. Spook. Shovel of luck and monster two. None of these are usable. Similar to the other shovel, but probably stronger. Hmm. Not sure what I should equip. So few soul based weapons. Wait, don't move a finger bone. Come on, pass all your belongings. There's a lot of skull and bones around here, pal. Scallywag. Red. Effigy and bone moss. No strings attached. Hmm. Soul and skill spider goddess. I have 15 now. Does that mean I get anything new? I don't know. Hmm. 
Here lies Gregor Gorgo, loving husband and big Latin deed. 456 to 529. Place the flowers just below the grave. You feel some wisdom tingling your spine. Wait, was that the right grave? That's... It wasn't even guarded by anything, really. Ambushed. Shovel of Force, Monster Tube of Sleep. Different stat spreads all around. Kind of dog mini boss thing guarding that chest. We keep trying to bury our owners back to the re to rest, but they refuse to stay there. It's, the, the, it's already heard from a previous fight. Cool. Rouge counters. <laughs> Woof, we dogs were not the same as we were before. Scroll. Scroll of fumes. Huh. Not that I could use it. Just a nice to have for when my stats are a little higher. Oh wow, looks like a giveaway coupon. One out of four. ID? Yeah, apparently it says something about giveaway in the Steam announcements. It's weird. 660-669. I should use this item to learn more about how to win. The heck? There's a crazy characters around here. Bone meal. Haha. <laughs> Who is that? Is that a shopkeeper or a, a, an enemy? Sit down and relax. So you do sell useful stuff. Good. I don't know what stats these have though. Guard and bash. Monster Tooth Blessing Howl. Hmm. Link Shield. It says guard is in one of my moves, right? Shield. Reduce all damage taken and increase counter chance. Bonus skill for two turns. And also gives me more a little bit of marrow. It's basically kind of like guard, isn't it? I could actually combine these two to recover a crap ton of marrow. Huh. 
interest while boosting my defenses. That sounds pretty useful. Anything else I might want? Doesn't show me how much I already have, though. This ring sounds pretty interesting, but I don't know if it's any good for me. Blessing Monsoon. Not rest, but Monsoon. Adds rain soul power to attacks. Yeah, that was not worth it. Do enemies respawn if I reload like that? I hope not. So ring might not be worth it. You don't, they don't let you see what the, what, what the skills are before you buy them, huh? I already have a shovel, don't I? Yeah. Lots of shovels, actually. This scythe has really high soul for some reason. I gotta talk to this bird. What's your wisdom? When desperate, don't forget to throw stones at the enemy. That's right, have consumable stone items. South to Haunted Tree Line, north to a Cemetery. I smell a stupid skeleton village somewhere down there. A stupid skeleton village is exactly wh what I need to start buying more stuff, huh? Though there is one shopkeeper in this dungeon for some reason. I was killed because of my undying love to Panatones. Heck is that thing? Spook. Oh no. Getting serious. Smoke screen, he's going to be very evasive. Not that it helps against magic. Syringe of Cyclone and Bone Moss. The heck is a Syringe of Cyclone, though? Hmm. It has a good soul. Oh, that's a tough choice, isn't it? But it has better, it has better in the shield, but the shield also gives me an extra guarding skill that I could use to quickly fill up my marrow while reducing damage. Oh, this is a tough choice. And also, what the heck is a cyclone? Huh, he'll damage the enemy. Lowered our survival and guard break. Oh, uses both skill and soul. Hmm. I can read a sign. The sign reads Beware the living, hide your belongings. Huh. So we're afraid of grave robbers. An empty grave. An empty sign. What is this house? Tiny Chapel of St. Mortis, patron of the dead skeletons. Mm, seems to be a mysterious enemy here. Oh, no brittle bones here. No unhealthy skeleton here. Wait, what? You, you're just a one-time heal. What the heck? Worthless. Alright, you take a look inside the old cabin and see nothing but happy and bones and two shiny dots in the darkness. Mm. Very well. Next. There's no point. Turn back before we crush your skull. I'm a scavenger too. Two of them? Sh no, wait, they're shamans. I thought you were scavengers. What the heck? Soul and survival. Soul 
Cyclone. But they're both... They're blue, so I don't know if that would be a good idea. If they're blue, they probably resist it, right? That means they're also rain elemental. Damn. Electric. Reflect. They can heal themselves. Rest. Oh no, if my stats take- if I lose- if my stats get lowered, does that mean I can't use certain skills? I see. This is really bad. Self. Counter. No. Ward, in case you try using our spell on me. Cyclone, how much will that do to you? Then, no, I guess I won't find out. Spear of Ire, Bone Bongo, Spear of Essence. Hmm. Heck. This one has really good doll. Hmm. Bone moss self. I sell bone meals I can fall back on. Oh crap, I walked into a trap. Shouldn't there be a ghost to attack me for that? Weird. That's so weird. Now that they're not chasing me down? Come on. And that must be the boss of the area. Let me save in a separate slot. Here, pure skeleton. Go back, you. Go interact with your friends. I have no friends. The that one guy I killed a while ago told me you knew the way to many places. I wish I could get to a Citadel City, please. Can you point the way out for me, mister? No. Oh no, an, an abnormal. How can I let her build a broken one? I will have to deal with this quickly. Okay, so that opens from that side. Bone meal. Wasn't there a ghost enemy? I, I, found, I saw them walking around the trees, but I was never able to encounter them. 
can only be opened from the other side, probably. Did that ca it look was that NPC optional or not? That ghost does not care. Is there a point to heading back yet? No tomatoes either. Hospital? What the heck? Hello, old magazines featuring living people. Receptionist Miranda, the doctor is in. Hospital has seen better days and nights, but still holds value to the mad skeletons of the graveyard. Our licenses are outdated by a few centuries, but we're still practicing. Huh, it took you long enough. What is it, old bones? Once the witch got free, all the dead woke up. We rose from our graves like you did. But didn't you take your uh, but didn't you take your sweet hell of a time? Not all of us have it regained our senses though. Many are shackled still by fate of, or, or what your your culture called it. In undeath, we are all the same. Bone marrow, flesh be damned. I must find Citadel City. I remember that place from a shallow dream. Can we see that dream? As a cutscene, we all we all must, friend. All skeletons must. The skull towers, some call it, their lies surrounded by the endless screams of those unfit for the land, and answer perhaps. Everyone will keep reacting weirdly to you. You got the guts to head that way. Go south from the cemetery. You'll find the great tower inside the bog. It's said that th this tower resides a big-brained elephant who may be able to help you get back to the Citadel City. Godspeed, fellow bones. May whoever you worship still be still alive to aid your path. Mm. I don't mingle with puny pretenders. I'm more of a skeletalist myself. I'm here to report a broken bone. Quit cutting the line, I got here first. Elephantine Force. Small doll of Kato the Cat Doctor. So this is just a place to heal easily, huh? I don't have any tomatoes yet. Just a single coupon for real life prizes. Okay, there's a haunted house we can go into now. Cemetery Inn? I feel dead inside. Have you seen that person outside? We had such a, a sh he had such strong disagreements with telling me directions. The weird old man? Yes, that one. Oh boy, I should get you a drink because this is going to be a story. Aged milk, please. No salt. Ice? Just a cube. That strange individual arose in a moonlit night. I heard a crow singing all at once. No one came visit uh, uh, visit by the day. Business was terrible. But then he showed up. Put in some coins in the counter and went upstairs. No words. He opened the locked room without a key and slept in there for a few for a few days. We had no clients until he left, again, without saying a word. Marfa had periodic shivers when he stayed and we all felt really uneasy. Oh boy, what a tale. That's not all. When we went to check in his room, we always got out without remembering what was inside. We hosted challenges for people to come over and try it out, but no one has won yet. Shoot, what do you mean? Business only got better because of that. We call it the Forget Room. Wanna take a look? Five rounds on the house if you can come out of it clean. Deal. What the heck? I'm dead serious, this will be my last round. 
A forget room? This seems really w scary. Warning! Find room ahead! So where are the rules of this room? Is it a mini game that I have to deal with? Is it going to be a dungeon that I have to fight through? Oh man. You're the only one I can talk to here. Come on, Scrooge, have a seat. You know my name. Now that you are here, let me introduce myself. Look at me, my real face. I am Ganfell. I live here in this house. Few have visited me recently. Do you wish to listen to my story? Since we're here already, there used to be many of us. Now there is only me. We brought this to ourselves, really, all of us. It is useless to break free, Scrooge. The price of true freedom is beyond our limits. I have tried and tried. Over and over, but it is useless to break this curse. A new curse will appear should the first be broken, because the true cur curses are perception. The minds of us all are united already, but we are all blind to it. The dust storms are the warning. We're real nearly at the end of the wait. So many lives will be taken out as a toll, but alas, what can we do? I have no idea what you're talking about, mister. Then you are not ready. Be gone now while you can. It leads nowhere. So that was my only opportunity to talk to you, huh? Hey friend, do you remember what you saw in that room? Perhaps, perhaps not. What is there really to know about life and death? Oh yeah, oh yeah, uh, yeah, another one won't get the prize, too bad. Oh, I can buy... Wow, so... Permanent sad increases well, will cost that much, huh? 255. Is it worth it though? If I mesh, if I just keep farming this to get my healing so ridiculously OP. Heh. <laughs> Milkshake. Heal plus sh based on strength, heal based on spite. Heal based on soul. This one seems like my cup of tea. Citadel City? Are you insane, man? Well, you could always try to find your way out south of here. Maybe try a tree line path. You'll find the village eventually. But you might want to just settle down instead. It's all up to you, brother. Yo, friend. Take care out there. Hmm. Yes? Then offer all those remains you found to the gods. Each god will reward you with magic. Problem is, I only found one god statue so far, and I already got most of his magic. The gods love the moral remains of those who died in punitive combat. There's a lot of skull and bones. Hmm. Yeah, it seems a bit late to tell me that. Very... Been collecting quite a lot of books. Seems there's something on the other side. Hey, do the enemies here respawn? No, it's just that one time heal lady. Oh, they do respawn. Okay, I could probably use them to grind a bit. Now that I have access to a hospital and such. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Osteoblast. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.